Hi everyone, welcome back and this is Colonial Conversation. This time I'm alone. <laughs> I hope you get used to me being alone, but yeah, this time I'm alone and I'm going to talk to you about different things. I hope you enjoy this episode. For those that liked my episode when I was alone, please keep sharing, keep liking, keep commenting, subscribe please and we have two channels we have clona conversation and we have lois nata Samba. you can subscribe on both techiri mustani mm. so continue to be good to us as we are good to you today i'm going to talk about goals life goals whatever goals that you have and i'm, I'm not talking about people who don't have life expectations i'm talking about people who have hope in life and specifically, this episode is about setting goals and achieving them. I have had so many people who have, like, end of year, when the year is ending, people write their prayer requests and things, New Year resolutions and things like that. Yeah, to some, those are your goals. To others, they don't really look like goals. So I want to explain what is a goal in a layman's language, not in a book or like Google. But if you want, you can check out Google. So a goal is... Uh, something you can achieve in a long term or something that is not easily achievable so your goal cannot be for example eating three meals a day because i mean that is very achievable but rather your goal can be maybe eating healthy for the next five years you understand that's the difference so you have to understand the difference between daily out activities and a goal so for you to live a purposeful life you must have a goal and your goal drives so many things, spiritually, financially, emotionally, economically. If you have goals, as girls especially, or as a man, your life is well mapped out. And it's easy for you to pray for your goals when you have them clearly laid out. So this is what I mean. A goal is something that you think of and it's nearly impossible to achieve. But you think that you can try, that's a goal. For example... A goal can be, my financial goal can be, I must have 10 apartments for renting in the next five years. That's a goal. But someone can say, next year I'm moving out of my parents' home. That's not a goal. I mean, that's very achievable. You can actually do it next week. So I want you to understand what the goal is. So do you have a goal as a person, as a young girl, or as a young man, 20 years, 18, 13 years, 40 years, 50, do you have goals? Because I also know that when you achieve your goals, you set new ones. So if you're 50 year old and you're on this channel and you feel you set your goals at 20 and you have achieved them, set new ones because you're not yet dead. So please, set goals. Goals help us to map where we are going. And we can have financial goals, you can have spiritual goals, you can have physical goals, like my goal is to lose 20 kgs in the next two years. That is a physical goal, you know? So please set your goals. But today I want to talk about setting goals and achieving them. One of the things I've grown up, like I always say, Demukuru, Sinimuto. So I have seen so many things, and one of the things I have seen people struggle with in life is achieving goals. Setting goals and achieving them. But you see, it's one thing to set the goal, but it's another thing actually to achieve the goal. So between setting the goal and achieving it, there is a journey, a whole journey of like a life journey. So you have to walk the miles. And I think so many people get worried, they get tired of the goal, they change focus, they get diverted, and then three years, 10 years down the road, you're like, but I wanted to do my PhD at 24 years and it didn't happen. Or like, I wanted to build apartments when I was 50. I wanted to retire at 50 and it didn't happen. Something happened between you setting that goal and achieving it. So today I want to give you some of the things that can help you set your goals and achieving them. One of them is, after you've set the goal, say it's a financial goal, because you also have to separate your financial goals from physical goals or from spiritual goals you know so after you set your goal break it down what do i mean if for example your goal is to have 12 apartments rented in the next five years don't stop at just saying that go down and break it so what do i need i need a piece of land i need a, a work a, a, a lay a ground plan i need 
uh, men to work with, I need this, I need that, I need this, I need that. So when you break those things, don't over, and then don't over break it. Break it into like four to five comp components. And those components, we usually call them like maybe outcomes or like intermediate goals, like getting a piece of land where you will build those apartments. Second goal is maybe acquiring a loan. That is another component. Then a third one and a fourth one. So when we go back into the intermediate goals, now we have moved from a goal to intermediate goals. I hope you're following. Then break it down from intermediate goals to actual activities. So if intermediate goal one is to acquire a piece of land, what is the next the next activity, like what is the starting activity? Looking for the land or getting the money. Why do I need to get the money? Probably look for a job, you understand? Like break it into small components or small activities that you will work on. And in that way, and you need to map all of them. So the goal is to build 12 apartments. The intermediate goals are three, acquiring the piece of land, getting a loan to build, then building. Then under the intermediate goals, have the specific activities, getting money to buy the land, actually identifying the land, buy the land, transfer it into your names, then you move. Then after you have broken them into small components, I don't know what your goals are, but I hope you're following. Once you have done that, move into the next step, start a tag tagging time frames to every activity you have set out. For example, getting money to buy the land. Which year will you get that? So we are in 2020, maybe today you set your goal because I talked about it. Then you say maybe by December 2023, I should have gotten money to buy the piece of land where I want to build my rentals. So tag the timeline and tag the financial value for that activity so if you're saying maybe looking for the land how much money do you need to spend on looking for the land you understand so tag money tag time tag human resource who are you going to work with i sound like uh, like i'm teaching you but actually people miss out on so many things because they think once you set out to build the the, the the apartments you go straight into building the apartments and that's how people fail you get frustrated you feel like the process is hectic it's nearly impossible but let me tell you it is very possible if you're very organized so you move into the second stages of tagging financials tag human resource who is going to help you do that and tag time when do you hope to achieve that and as you do all that i want you to be smart enough what do I mean with smart enough? Make sure you're simple. Like, don't set activities that are not achievable. You understand, like, things like, I want to get 100 million to buy a piece of land in Chanja in the next six months. Okay, yeah, to some people it's achievable, but be, real, be simple to yourself. Like, break those achievements or activities into things you can achieve. So that you don't feel like, oh my God, that was so hard. I can't achieve it. No. Then the other thing is that make sure you can measure your achievement. Why do I have to talk about measuring your achievements? Because uh, you need to celebrate in the process. For example, if you got the money to buy the land, then actually you bought the land. That is, you're already measured and it's, you're already it's measurable and you can easily celebrate. That helps you to get fuel for the next journey on achieving your goal so so that you don't feel like oh my god i haven't built apartments at least you acquired the land you understand like you acquired the piece of land so take time tag the resources tag time tag the human resource you need to but also be smart i hope you're following after being smart, make sure your, your activities are very achievable, especially in the time frame that you've set out and also the finances that you have. If your salary is, say, one million, take home, and then you're saying in, in one year, I want to have uh, a piece of land of 200 million. Okay, I mean, if what all you move be, you know? So I'm hoping that you, you set achievable timelines and goals then make them realistic to yourself 
and to the circumstances around you. Right now, to the more economy, for say economy, economy, for say economy, over the spending, on to look at your spending away, baby. How realistic are your activities and goals and intermediate outcomes? I want you to think about it because I don't want 2020 to end. Then you go back in 2023 and set new goal resolutions, which you will never achieve. Then your life feels like you're sucking, like. I mean, you're not moving any step. And yet you are. It's just that you don't know that you are. And you get frustrated along the way. So make sure that the goals you set are smart, the intermediate goals are smart, and the activities or events that cause the intermediate goals are smart enough. In that way, I mean, they need to be time-bound, so you add time to read. And realistic time-bound. And simple, measurable, realistic time, money, and resources. Olizungulunji, nae, you will have to learn. You will have to learn because I have seen it is so hard for people to achieve this and it is very basic for me. So I thought it's important that I share. So the other thing is you, as you go through the years or the months and you look at your plan, some people say put it on a vision board. That's when you bring out the vision board. That's when you put it in your bedroom. That's when you put it in your calendar. As you go through that, keep monitoring how far have you moved. They keep checking on yourself. If you really have achieved this, tap yourself and say, good girl, you did that. And if next time you fail, well, pick up the pieces, stand up, and let's continue with the goal. Don't give up simply because you failed last time. You know? So the other thing is evaluate your goal. For example, if you wanted to build 12 apartments and hoping to project that rent by that time will be 500,000, which will be enough for your children's school fees. But now school fees has moved from 1 million to 2 million. Do you really think that that goal is still going to meet the need for it? Or do you need to, to, to change things? I, I have chosen apartments, but probably can lose something that is cheaper for your standards, whatever. But will that, that goal after five years help you to achieve what you wanted? Or are you stuck? Keep checking. If you did a mudala, okay, like for example, if you did a mobile money unit and you thought probably the money that comes out of this will give me rent, my rent, and then your rent shoot from 700 to 2.5 or, or 1.5, will that kadala still give you that money? If not, choose a, like change. It is important to change. Because people are so stuck on the things they want to happen and they never happen. So take time, change. Change what you think is not working. Because if you do not keep checking and evaluating your goal, you will be frustrated in the end. The things you started doing may not be working. There's a time someone was telling me that we used to use Kodak, Kodak cameras, like a cameraman would come at school, right now those things don't work anymore because we have phones, so any moment you can take a photo and have it in your phone. So evaluate your goal. Is it still relevant for the technology that we are in? You know? So take time to evaluate your goal. Two, celebrate every milestone. I mean, you know celebrations, I like celebrating. I find every reason to celebrate. Like, I mean, I just need to hear it's someone's birthday then they'll show up and show up. So if you're celebrating yourself, for example, you got some money to buy some land, celebrate it. Don't sit down and say, it's a big milestone. Take time off and celebrate every milestone that you achieve towards your goal. Because you know what? If you die after three years before achieving your goal, at least you celebrate it. For now, I'll call it Kulona Conversation. And this is your girl, Lois Nataiti Samba. Please check me out on YouTube, on Instagram, on Facebook. Comment, like, subscribe, follow, share. If you liked our com content, please comment in the comment section. Share with your friends. Please share with someone else so that they can gain others from now. See you next time. Bye.